just the right way. I've already covered this, but I want to cover it now with this last dollar. I knew at least enjoying that place like the rest of it. I could if my wife hadn't torn out all of the big screen TVs out of our house when she found a face scan of herself on the screen behind the screen of one of the TVs, which are made in China, of course. She actually found a face scan of her head with a log to see how many vegetables her hair could take, how big was her head, and any computer or television has a screen behind the screen. This is stuff I've just come to find out. And she's like a wizard at getting past codes and figuring out how to make codes to detect. It's just a natural ability she has. But this scared the shit out of her. And she said, I don't want any of these TVs in my house. And we had three of them. In the bedroom, in the spare room, and in the front room. And now we have none. And I don't miss them. So I'm just looking at the news on the computer now. But when she first showed me, I thought, well, this is reminiscent of when an old friend drops by with a crazy manic story. And the more he told it, the less sense it made. And a couple of days later, he's in the psych ward. That kind of thing. Then two days later, I'm in my Pro Tools, and I come across these files that say FB something something. And I go into these files and actually find out that the FB stands for Facebook. And what they are is licensing, third-party licensing. And now Facebook and Google are part of Pro Tools. And if you've ever bought a cell phone, part of the process when you're setting it up for you is you come across these 500 pages of legally that whoever is setting it up for just pushes a three on. There's no way you can read it all. But I took the time to read it. And the more I read it, the more it started scaring the shit out of me. Just because something of mine got on their server, now they think they own it, my unreleased records that I've spent thousands of dollars on their equipment to make. Forget that shit, it's not gonna fly. Does Steven Spielberg, because he used a Mac on something, are they gonna take away his movie? And the answer is no, because those guys are hit for that kind of shit. But guys like me who make records in the garage weren't sent that memo. So here's what happened next. It's four in the morning when I come across this shit. And I immediately start texting my manager in Florida and talking to people about it on my iPhone. See, I'll be damned if I wasn't shut down immediately, as though I had my own private snowing in the room with me. For instance, my contact list on my phone just disappears and ends up in a fitness or health app as a blocked call file. In real time this happened, and I'm starting to lose my mind. And I'm describing this to friends of mine, and they're all saying the same thing. Mark, why would anyone do this to you? And that's the same thing I ask myself. I'm a nobody, what the fuck? I was just chicken little. I had no way of proving any of it. So he goes on and on and on about this. And then he decides that he's going to move out of the U.S into Ireland with his wife, right? And then he ends up dead in 2022. And I just find the whole thing suspect. It's sad, and it doesn't sit right with me. And I tried to explain this to Mark, and it's sad. I don't know if you ever saw it, but maybe his wife, you know, what your friends didn't realize, and what he didn't realize at the time, is what was happening was that somebody arguing. That's not how this works. The reason why your phone jacked up, all of that. It's an AI system that is looking for key words, and when these key words are repeated over and over, and it's decided that you are talking about or spreading information that they don't want spread, it will begin to mess with you by doing exactly what it did. And it's just suspect and sad that this happened here. I find it strange that right after he talked about the COVID-19 and the 5G, he came down with COVID and slipped into